At first, this seems the picture-perfect family, but look closer, and the photo tells a very different story. A story of boys nearly starved to death, horribly abused by the foster parents who came to adopt them. I weighed 40 pounds. Trey Sean is 14 years old here. 30 pounds. Terrell, age 10. Less than 20 pounds. Michael is nine years old. Michael's tiny body fit into clothes for a baby. For years, adoptive parents Raymond and Vanessa Jackson told fellow churchgoers the boys had a rare eating disorder that stunted their growth. When police raided the Jackson home, they learned it was no disorder. It was like a hell box, actually. Starvation so severe it drove one of the children to chew on wallboard. It's taken the boys a long time to even think about their ordeal, let alone speak about it. Trey Sean. And they just had a cup of water there, and that's all we had for that one day. Terrell. Water and bread mixed up together in one bowl. Michael. One time we had to eat baby food. They did not attend school. They spent their days in the basement or on a stairwell. We'll go sit on the step. Then, well, six hours would go by. It took another adoptive brother's defiance to finally change their fate. With nothing to eat, the eldest brother left the house searching for food. A neighbor called 911 to report a child going through the garbage looking for food. It's a little kitty uh, trash can. It was 3 o'clock in the morning, and the little kid was actually 19 years old. Bruce Jackson weighed only 45 pounds. Police arrested and charged Raymond and Vanessa Jackson with 28 counts of child endangerment and aggravated assault. You took my childhood. About two years later, 100 pounds heavier and more than a foot taller, Bruce spoke in court at sentencing. Hit us with brooms, rulers, sticks, shoes, and belt buckles. Bruce moved into a supervised care facility. The other boys were placed in the hands of another foster family. They're not animals, they're, they're human beings. Amber and James Parrish, who had a little boy of their own, adopted all three brothers. They're doing their part and we're doing our part. With the Parrishes, the boys who were told they wouldn't grow, couldn't stop growing. I want to drastically. <laughs> all the food they was giving me, I want at least 60 pounds. I gained at least 40, 40 to 30 more pounds. Six months, I was probably about 45, 50. Life now is a long way from a childhood spent suffering. They don't have to worry about where they're going to get their next meal, where they're going to lay their head. But to see them now, I get filled with joy. After all you've been through, what is it like today? It's a blessing, actually. When I think about it, I'll be like, yeah, I made it. Thank God for it. The brothers tell me if not for each other, they may have never made it out of that home alive. But that was then. <laughs> this is now. Now I can come home to parents that actually love me. Mary Calvi for CBS News.